In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a small program in Excel to automatically calculate confidence intervals. So that all you have to do is enter the data into an Excel spreadsheet and the confidence intervals will be calculated for you automatically. Now I'm going to do this for confidence intervals where sigma is unknown. In other words, where we use the t-distribution. And then you can do the same thing when sigma is unknown, where you use the z-distribution, population proportions, where you also use the z-distribution, and for standard deviation intervals, where you use the chi-square distribution. Now remember, when your population standard deviation is unknown, and you want to construct a confidence interval, you want to use the t-distribution, and this is the formula right here that you use. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have Excel automatically calculate these numbers for us. So all we have to do is enter the mean, the sample standard deviation, n, and what alpha is, the significance level, into the spreadsheet. And these numbers will be calculated for us automatically. Now over here we have an Excel spreadsheet and what we're going to do is this. We have some labels here. So what the user is going to do is they're going to enter the mean into cell B1, the sample standard deviation into cell B2, the significance level into cell B3, the sample size into cell B4. Now Excel will use these values here to calculate what the T alpha over 2 is. And then it'll also calculate the left and right hand endpoints of the intervals. So first of all, let's see how we can have it evaluate T alpha over 2 automatically for us. So here's the formula that you would type in. So you notice we have equals negative T dot inverse. What's in cell B3? Now cell B3 right here, that's going to hold what the significance level is or the alpha value. So you notice we take what's in cell B3, divide it by 2, comma, and then we want n minus 1 in this parameter. Now the value n, the sample size, that's in cell B4. So when the user inputs alpha into cell B3, the significance level into cell B3, the sample size into cell B4, this will automatically be calculated. Then up here, we have the formulas for the left and right hand endpoints for the confidence interval. So these are going to evaluate the numbers that we have right over here. So let's take a look at what's in this cell. So here's what you would type in. So the mean is in cell B1. Okay, so notice that this is going to appear or is right in this cell, B1. Uh, the uh, T alpha over 2 value that is in cell B5 times and then we have the sample standard deviation that is in cell B2 and then divided by the square root of n and n is in cell B4 right here. Okay and then for the right hand endpoint all we do is exactly the same thing as we have here except we change that minus right there to a plus. And so just take a look at that. And so right there's the formula for your right hand endpoint. It's the same as what's in cell C2 except you have a plus right there. Now let's see how this works. So let's take a look at a web work problem. So right here we have a problem from web work. And what we want to do is calculate a confidence interval for the data that we're given right here. And this particular problem wants a 96% confidence interval. So what we have to do is we actually have to calculate the mean and sample standard deviation for this data. Now for this data, we can actually just copy and paste it right into Excel. So watch how I do that. I just highlight the data and hit copy or control C on my keyboard. And then I'll just go anywhere in here in the spreadsheet right there. Let's say 
uh, go control V and there's all my data. Now I'm going to put the mean right here so equals average of and then I just highlight all of these data values close off the parenthesis right there and hit enter there you go there's our mean sample standard deviation equals stdev dot s for sample parenthesis highlight the data close off the parenthesis hit enter there you go now the significance level uh, that's going to be 1 minus 0.96 remember our um, over here it wanted a 96 percent confidence interval so the alpha you know is going to be 1 minus 0.96 so that's going to be 0 0.04 of course so we just have to enter that right in here 0 0.04 the n in this case, well, let's see how many data values do we have? We have 15, right? 3 times 5, 15. And as soon as I enter that, everything is filled in for me, you notice. Okay? So um, the t alpha over 2 value is 2.2637. And here is the left and right hand endpoints of my confidence interval. Now I can just copy and paste those right into these cells. And let's do that and check out that we get the right answer. So uh, let me open this up in a new window here. Okay. And let's just copy this. Control C. Put it right here. Control V. Control C. Control V. And let's check out that we got the right answer. Yep, and there you go. We got the correct answer. So now this will do confidence intervals for cases where sigma is unknown, where we use the t-distribution for us, and all we have to do is enter the information into these four cells right here. And so that's how you can write your own little Excel program to calculate confidence intervals for you automatically and this will also work for the other cases as well. And to keep things organized you could call this our T interval sheet right here so we'll just rename this. And then you could create other sheets like for the Z interval where Sigma is known, population proportion intervals, and standard deviation intervals and just add those sheets to your workbook and then save it and then you'll have programs for each case.